My name is Mai Miyake. I recently moved my studio to Shiga Prefecture. I'm an interplanetary artist. Did I say it wrong? Interdisciplinary? The interdisciplinary artist, okay. Yes, I do use like artificial intelligence and Japanese craft skills. It really doesn't matter if you're from craft or from high art when you categorize or label people. That makes people miss the details and tend to stop thinking. There is always the similarities and the beauties that they have. A person like me who does multimedia, because there's a lot of things, you need certain space to make your materials breathe. Like you have something that comes into your mind, but when you physically see the material, sometimes it's just not what you imagined. Put it out of the box, lay it, and check it for a while. My favorite place is the toilet where you can relax, just gaze at things, and appreciate other people's work. When I came to Shiga and I first saw Biwako, it almost looks like ocean. It's very comforting for me to see a vast water. It's very quiet. It's located right in front of the shrine. I just feel very safe. Can you see the dots and the circle in the the round area. This is a symbol of water. As you know, the Japanese housings are made out of wood and we're really vulnerable to fire. We do all these things that scare the bad spirit away. My studio is a sanctuary for me. Every single thing in my studio is selected by me. There is a certain strict rules that I can't tell you what it is, but being surrounded by them, it's kind of like a spiritual boundary that I feel very protected from the outside world. I set up a tsukubai, what we use in the tea ceremony, and where you can wash your hands. Also, I have this guest book. I force people to write or draw in ink. In my former studio, it was just zoom, go into the studio, get your job done, and they go back. Now, because it's just not only a studio, it's my home, it becomes more personal. This is my love of my life. It's called Kage. When I'm at home, I have to do the normal human being stuff, which is like the cooking, the cleaning, and talk to your neighbors. Although I'm relaxed, I have to perform at the certain social rules, but in my studio, I don't have any of that. It's very early in the morning, and I asked the crew if they had breakfast, and they didn't. <laughs> the vegetables are very fresh, and they're not even. Like, the ones in Tokyo are really nicely formed, but here, they kind of all do look like real vegetables, <laughs> which I like because it has a bit of character. So should I really set up the stuff and yeah. feed you right now? <laughs> okay. As a Japanese, we choose kakejiku, something from the season and also something that reasons with the person who comes. Everything in the environment, it takes place for the art. I'm the opposite of atheist. I believe in all gods. As you know, Japanese people believe that there's yao yorozu no kami. Anything we see or touch, there is a god. I think that's why I have a lot of different materials in my artwork as well, because there's god of stones, there's god of woods. I need to call in the right gods into my work. I also firmly believe that when things are random, that's when you get some different stories. You know, my muse like things messy a little bit. A little tidy in a way that you can still work, but some different things cooperate than you expected.
世界は完璧すぎてたまに私からこぼれてしまう欲しいものはすべてここにあるだからなるべく遠く興味も慈悲も教習もないところへ私が私の青い鳥のもとに戻ろうとしないように毎日食べて寝るだけを繰り返そう十分に生きて十二分に楽しみ13番目の月を眺める。